this literally smells like the strawberries and the raspberries are on acid or something because they are so freaking intense which i kind of like hey guys what is going on and welcome to my channel so for today's video i am super freaking excited and you would have seen the title that this is a super drug haul video now super drug is one of the biggest retailers in uk it is i think the second largest and biggest retailer after boots and they have recently launched in india exclusively on hokmakeup.com now, Superdrug is something like Nika, but 10 or 20 times more bigger than them. So they do host a lot of brands in their retail stores as well as their online website. But then they do have their own line of skincare and that is what has been launched in India. So there are eight items for which I'm going to share the first impression and also bear in mind that most of them are skincare. So that is just like a first impression thoughts. But then if you guys want to see like a follow up video on how the skincare kind of items worked or not, do let me know on the comments down below so that I can do that video later on. So if you have not already, do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so you're notified whenever I do upload. And now let's jump right into the video. So where do I start? And oh, firstly about the packaging. So I have placed multiple orders from hokmakeup.com. It always comes through, no complaints. But this time I was pretty impressed because they did bubble wrap, bubble wrap each and every one item. So it was pretty safe and secure. Now I really like the fact on how they have launched in India because they have come through with collections. Like for example, they have the chargers that's completely different, the body care part of it. Now they also have is the vitamin E collection which is meant for normal to dry skin. And then they have this collection called the radiant, no, the naturally radiant collection. Now that is I think for all skin types. And then they have the tea tree collection which is meant for all oily skin so I really like the way how they have come out they also have the specific kits as well which I have not bought but just FII I almost forgot so all these products are vegan and cruelty free as well so let's first start with these chargers now I have a love-hate relationship with chargers I love love them for the smell but I really do not like is the residue or the after effect it has that slick slimy feeling on the skin like you do not wash yourself properly at all now see that's a personal preference i personally do not like that feeling at all i have used body shop bath and body works neutrogena i don't know i just don't like that feeling but then this one i was so surprised that it has that slick feeling but not that much it is extremely minimal so that was like extra brownie points for that so the most funniest thing about the shower gel is the fact that it's literally written over there saying do not swallow so yeah <laughs> so the first shower gel out of the three of them is the dragon fruit and the vanilla shower gel now this is how this looks like it has this very faint pale baby pink kind of a color now this has a natural dragon fruit and vanilla extracts with added skin conditioner for pH balance. Now, this one is priced at 250 rupees for 250 ml of product. So, these shower gels I feel are much, much more affordable than the body shop ones because the body shop ones they offer in the same quantity of 250 ml, but they are priced from 330 or 50 and it goes all the way until 800 or I don't know, maybe even 900 bucks. Do not quote me on that not so sure but i know it goes until 800 rupees so yeah these are extremely affordable now coming to the smell now this vanilla and dragon fruit one it smells extremely calming and it is so soft so if you are the kind of person who likes to take a bath in the night before you go to sleep i would highly recommend this one because it has such a very soft enticingly calming kind of a smell that makes sense so the second shower gel is the mix and fizz dye query which looks like a nice pale yellow now this has a natural mango and a passion fruit extract now this one again it smells very tropical but i could not smell much of the mango 
but if you want something that could energize you in the morning that will wake you up this is a perfect tropical fruity kind of a shower gel which i love again and the last shower gel is my personal favorite which is the strawberry and raspberry shower gel now this one oh my freaking god is so strong it is so freaking strong that i literally had a mini heart attack when i received the package because i thought something leaked and i was panicking and i was opening everything up just to see which one leaked but none of the products actually leaked it was this one this smell is so strong imagine the strawberry shower gel from body shop but just 10 or 20 times more stronger than that so i would suggest if someone who has sensitive to you know smell or very strong fragrance do not try this but then if you are a lover of a fruity or a berry kind of a smell hands down go for this because once you use this you will smell amazing your bathroom will smell amazing your towel will smell amazing and so will your bedroom and your clothes as well it has extremely amazing smelling power and this obviously has natural strawberry and raspberry extracts this also smells like i don't know there was this one candy in my childhood which used to be so chewy it smells exactly like that so this is very nostalgic whenever i smell it it's it's like literally takes me back to my childhood so i love this one so next moving on to the skincare part of it the other item that i got is the vitamin e hydrating mist and this is how the content looks which is 150 ml and this is priced at 495 rupees so this hydrating mist actually has vitamin e as well as aloe vera and it also comprises of vitamin a b f and h which is combined with the horse chestnut extract so this is dermatologically approved and also this is basically meant for normal to dry skin now the spray is not very friendly it's like splashes on your face that was a lot of spray <laughs> So since this is meant for normal to dry skin what I have planned to do is I am a planning to use this to dampen my beauty blender and then apply my foundation now I haven't started doing that so if I am doing another video in the future I'll tell you guys how that worked out to be So moving on to the tea tree facial cleansing pads now this is a deeply cleanse and purify for a refresh clearer looking complexion now this has tea tree oil and peppermint oil as well now this is actually meant for oily skin type and this one is a gentle yet effective anti blemish solution so if you look at the direction it does say that you can use this like 2 to 3 times a week that is all and they have like 40 pads now say for example i'm going to use it for like uh, twice a week so that's like 8 times a month so 40 pads so this will last me for about 5 months yeah about 5 months this will last which i really really like and this is priced at 425 rupees now i really do enjoy and love the peppermint and the tea tree smell it is extremely extremely refreshing and i really like the fact that this one was so soaked and wet and drenched so this was really easy for me to clean my face and the next item is something that i have been truly excited to buy and that is the naturally radiant glycolic acid daily cleansing pads now this is something that i really wanted to add to my skincare which is the glycolic acid and i was eyeing on the pixi beauty glow tonic so that is freaking expensive when you buy it from a instagram makeup seller and this one is 595 rupees for 60 pads and it says as per the direction that you need to use it only once or twice a day so i have been using it like someone is home So I have used it only for like 2 days now and I use it only once a day so this will literally last for me for like 2 months and I am super excited about this because I already like it. Now in this video as you guys can see I did use this one and even after using the tea tree that cleansing pad 
it still had some residue so this one really helped take everything out the reason is because it has glycolic acid which is a powerful AHA which is the alpha hydroxy acid and a fruit acid blended to help improve the skin's clarity and smoothness of the skin surface providing a brighter and clearer complexion now this is something that I have already fallen in love with I hope it remains the same way and my mind or my skin does not change so we will see about that in the future so the next item right now is the vitamin C collection now I got the invigorating skin booster and this is something that again I am so happy about the reason is because I was actually eyeing on the Claire's freshly juiced vitamin drop which is again a vitamin C uh, facial serum and this one again it is so affordable and it is nice because this is priced at 795 rupees for 30 ml like it is pricey but not as pricey as the Claire's which I was eyeing on to buy so for me this was like a money saving and again I have used it only twice I do like it so far it is good so yeah I do use this right after using the glycolic acid pads so it comes in a nice long generous kind of a dropper and because of that I end up using quite a lot of product but even then it does absorb into my skin pretty well it's not like too fast absorbing but it does absorb pretty well but then it does leave my skin very nice soft and supple so for the last and final product is the naturally radiant brightening eye cream now in my life i have never ever used any eye cream before and i really wanted to add an eye cream into my skincare routine which i do not have but i'm trying to have one so finally i got this one so this brightening eye cream it is formulated with mulberry and kiwi extracts which helps to brighten and smoothen the eye area and help reduces signs of fatigue now it also has the sugar beet extract which is a lightweight formulation which leaves the skin feeling softer and smoother and looking more youthful so this one does have a claim it says that after one week the skin around the eye area feels softer smoother more refreshed and energized and then after four weeks the appearance of dark circles and puffiness are minimized so this is something that i am going to see to it that i do apply religiously every day and this eye cream is priced at 575 rupees for 15 ml of product so these were the products that i got from superdrug which i am super duper happy about and if you are still watching thank you so much for sticking for so long and finally this wraps up today's video so if you have not already do not forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the bell icon right next to it so that you're notified whenever i do upload like the video it will help me out as well as a comment down below if you have any questions or requests i'll try my best to do that for you as well as follow me on my socials which is it's nishanayar on instagram and it's nishanayar on twitter as well so until the next time take care bye